Hi, this is David Greenwood of Your Life in the Now, where we help you to move forward and overcome any old resistance that keeps you from living the life that you really want to live. Today we're coming from a more relaxed location, and I want to just in this short video explore the idea that oftentimes there's a part of us that will keep us from enjoying life no matter where we are. Now when you go on vacation, it seems a lot easier to relax, but even on vacation, I hear people saying, well, all I'm thinking about is work. Or oftentimes people take their work with them and they don't know how to enjoy life or go on vacation. I'm sure you've seen the romantic comedy movies of people that are fighting with one another because the person never puts down their work. So what is it that holds us back? What is it that keeps us from just enjoying the moment and just being where we are? Well, as you probably heard us talk about in other episodes, your subconscious mind has a mind of its own. Its main job is to keep you on task, to keep you focused, to protect you. It wants to make money, it wants security and safety. And it's gonna do whatever it can to keep you doing that. It doesn't want you to go on vacation. It doesn't want you to come to a beautiful place like this. It wants you to stay home and work. So oftentimes when you are at work, another part of your mind, the healthy you, really wants to focus on being happy, on being free. So when you're at work, you're thinking about being on vacation. When you're on vacation, your mind wants you to think about work. So it's oftentimes a struggle between those two parts of your mind, the healthy you that wants to enjoy life, and the other part of your subconscious, your inner parent, that just wants you to work harder. But change is always occurring, and that change is what causes your subconscious guardian part, the voice of your subconscious, to become worried and to want to hunker down and control you even more. Here in this beautiful place, south of Playa del Carmen in Mexico, I came here over 20 years ago and there wasn't hardly anything here. You used to come to Cozumel, take a little ferry across to a taxi and a dirt road waiting for you to take you to the beautiful ruins of Tulum. Now, coming across from Cozumel, that dirty little lane that where the taxi's waiting, it's a city of several hundred thousand people. Everything is always changing, and your subconscious mind, that guardian part, is terrified of changes. It abhors change. It wants to keep things the same. So it doesn't want you to be thinking about relaxing and going on vacation. It wants you to keep working because it doesn't know what or how to enjoy life. So when you are able to come to a beautiful place like this, or even at home, when you're working, the idea is when you work, you work. When you play, you play. So if you can, be aware that your subconscious mind is going to try to fill your mind, your thoughts, your brain, with beliefs and behaviors that aren't always in your best interest. Self-awareness is the first key. That's the first step of you taking charge. Of course you need to work, of course you need safety and security, but it's a balance. You wanna have that healthy balance and it starts when you take charge and you are in charge and you decide when it's time to work and when it's time to play. So don't let that old guardian part, the worry part of you, take you over all the time. As you become self-aware, that's the first step in changing your life. After that, you can continue to move forward being with more self-aware and you will find that you will make more of the healthy choices and when you come to a beautiful place like this or in your own backyard when you come home at the end of the day you can relax be the healthy you and enjoy your life even more this is david greenwood of your life in the now where until now you might have been unaware of how that subconscious was holding you back but now with self-awareness you're going to begin that process of creating the life that you deserve and desire. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. I'm just starting this process of putting forth these videos, these podcasts, to help you to move forward and overcome the resistance of that guardian, the subconscious mind. I look forward to hearing from you, to connect with you. Together we can move forward. Thanks for watching.